Welcome to WMI TV News. I'm Barbara Bruce coming to you from inside Shello TV studio every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. This news is being driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Today's top story comes to you from Navajo County. In the ongoing criminal case regarding the alleged embezzlement of over $800,000 from the Silver Creek Irrigation Districts, defendant Margaret Peggy Rogers and her husband Russell Rogers appeared before Judge Ralph Hatch in Navajo County Superior Court on Wednesday, April 24th. Peggy Rogers was set for a change of plea hearing and Russell Rogers for a case management conference with his newly appointed attorney, Dirk Legate. In a surprising move by Peggy Rogers' attorney, Mary Claire Hanna, Hanna told the court that they were not ready for the change of plea due to complications. Peggy Rogers was expected to plead guilty and accept a plea agreement offered by the prosecution. Hanna informed the court that she had urged Peggy Rogers to try to get psychiatric help to stabilize herself for medical issues she had had for life. She further explained that Rogers had found a psychiatrist and had begun seeing him about a month ago. She said Rogers presented her office with a written evaluation from the psychiatrist, but she had not yet seen the report as she does not have a signed release yet from Rogers. Hannah said she needs to clarify if this psychiatrist is qualified for Rule 11 evaluation or just making comments. Under Rule 11, a defendant has the right to a mental examination and hearing when reasonable grounds for an examination exist. The examination is to determine if the defendant is unable to understand the nature of the proceeding against him or her and to assist with their defense. County Attorney Brad Carline withdrew the plea offer and Hatch proceeded to set a firm trial date for September 4th at 8.30 a.m. Russell Rogers' attorney, Dirk Legate, who was only recently appointed to represent Roger, excuse me, Rogers, stated he had 14,000 pages to review and would like more time. Hatch set the same trial date and motion deadline for Russell Rogers. The September 4th trial will be a jury trial. And now to Pine Top Lakeside. What skill set would it take to engineer and build something meant to operate on another planet? What would you need and where would you start? Any good mechanic knows that you've got to have a rock solid chassis to support a vehicle, whether you intend to drive it on Earth or somewhere else in the universe. And that's just what 14 physics and engineering students from Blue Ridge High School did. They built a rover with a tough chassis and a unique drivetrain, which was a winning entry in the 25th annual NASA Human Exploration Rover Challenge held on April 12th and 13th at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Blue Ridge High School was one of almost 100 other high school, college, and university teams from 24 states that competed, as well as several teams from other countries, including Bangladesh, Bolivia, the Dominican Republic, Egypt, Ethiopia, Germany, Morocco, and Peru. Even more impressive was the fact that this was the team's first year competing in an event of this magnitude. Congratulations, Blue Ridge. If you are looking for something to do this weekend, we can help. Pick up a copy of the Friday edition of the White Mountain Independent and take a look at our Get Out section, which covers all of the White Mountains. And now to your weather forecast, brought to you by White Mountain Publishing. Today, Friday, will be mostly sunny, transitioning to partly cloudy with a small chance of showers and a high today of 77 and a low around 47 tonight. Saturday will be sunny and breezy with a high in the mid-70s and a low around 46. Sunday will be mostly sunny with a high around 73 and a low around 46 degrees. More details of any of the news that you've heard here today can be found in your Tuesday or Friday Independent. And don't forget to like and share 
the WMI Central Facebook page for local breaking news updates. And remember, today's news was driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Thank you for watching. I'm Barbara Bruce.